Hey, soul survivors. I don't know if you've heard the term. DARVO is a manipulative tactic commonly used by narcissistic people or people with abusive behavioral patterns. And it involves a specific sequence of actions aimed at evading accountability and shifting the blame onto the victim. So first, the first step of DARVO is for the narcissist to flatly deny any wrongdoing or responsibility for their actions. D stands for deny. They refuse to acknowledge any negative behavior, dismissing and downplaying it entirely. By de denying their actions, they attempt to create doubt and confusion, making it harder for their victims to be held accountable. Um, attack is the second letter, A. After denying any wrongdoing, the narcissist proceeds to launch a counterattack against the victim. This attack may take various forms such as nonverbal insults, character assassination, and even gaslighting. By attacking the victim, the narcissist aims to divert their attention away from their own behavior and create a defensive stance. stance. And the R in DARVO stands for reverse victim and defender. This step involves an insidious twist. The narcissist skillfully shifts the blame and portrays himself as the true victim of the situation. They might claim that the victim is exaggerating or fabricating events, essentially turning the tables and making themselves appear innocent or unjustly targeted. They love to play the victim. I'll give some examples in a minute. This reversal of roles is intended to manipulate other people into sympathizing with the narcissist and questioning the credibility of the victim. So, Understanding DARVO is crucial for recognizing these manipulative tactics that narcissists use. Victims often find it challenging to confront the narcissist due to the complexity of, and psychological impact of these maneuvers. Um, so here are some examples in, in the deny. Imagine a scenario where a narcissistic partner is confronted by their significant other about their constant criticism. The narcissist might respond with statements like, I never criticize you. You're too sensitive. It's all in your head. By outright denying their critical behavior, they aim to invalidate the person's feelings and avoid taking responsibility for their actions. So an example of the attack in response to being called out for their dishonesty, a narcissistic person might launch a counterattack against the accuser accuser. They may resort to personal insults or deflection tactics to divert attention away from their own actions. So for instance, they might say, you're always playing the victim. You're just trying to make me look bad and feel guilty. You're the one with the problem, not me. And the reverse victim and offender. Suppose a narcissistic boss is confronted by an employee about their unfair treatment and excessive workload. Instead of acknowledging the employees concerns the boss might respond by saying you're lazy and incompetent i've done everything i can to help and you're ungrateful for all my efforts here the boss portrays themselves as a victim of an unappreciative employee effectively reversing the roles and deflecting attention away from their own managerial shortcomings so these Examples demonstrate how narcissists employ DARVO to manipulate situations and maintain control by denying, attacking, reversing the roles. They seek to undermine the credibility and emotional well being of their victims. So, comment some uh, times that you have seen that so we can help validate each other's feelings. A lot of times we feel alone, like nobody understands what we went through. So I'm here to help you guys. Topic requests are welcome. I do one-on-ones and help and healing one day at a time.